Did you see her? No, real quick. Oh, it was ever so sad. I had to turn it off in the end. I just kept thinking, how was he ever going to find a hat to fit him? Somehow I don't think that was top of his list of worries. No, I suppose not. You all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, sir. Could have fooled me. See you in a bit, yeah? See you, love. Oh, bring another one in there, Liz, will you? I will. You're very quiet. You're missing a certain someone. Like who? Tony. Well, who else would I be talking about? How should I know? Well, something's definitely going on, and knowing you is probably to do with a bloke. <sighs> it's Jim. Your Jim? Mm -hmm. He's been calling. He wants me to visit him in prison regularly. Well, you don't want to. No. Well, tell him. Well, it's not as easy as that. He says if I don't, Peter Barlow is going to get an almighty kick in again. Now, not that I give a monkeys about Peter Barlow. But I can't do that to Deirdre, can I? What are you going to do? <sighs> I don't know. But not a word to Tony, <coughs> or anyone else for that matter. Afternoon. Quarter of sherbet lemons, please. I'm feeling reckless. Oh. Hey, Atting. Ta-da. Hey, not a word to the missus. And break the landlady's code? Mm. Never. Sauce emergency. Oh, Zary Styles just popped in for a shandy. Are you having a laugh? He spilled me pint. He spilled me pint. This is dirty widows, Tim. What? As in pervy wives of dead people. Oh, oh. Now that is what I call an emergency. <laughs> Given another? Uh, only if you let me change your mind about Jim. Deirdre is one of my oldest friends. You've seen the state she's in about Peter. Well, everyone seems to be fretting about Peter, except Peter. Look, tell her the truth. If she's as good a friend as you are, then she'll understand this. You poor arm. You're avoiding me because you know I'm right. Just tell Jim McDonald where to go. It's not like you haven't before. Yeah, well, Peter Barlow's already been punished. You don't deserve Jim on his case as well. And that's why I'm so grateful you did what you did. Look, I, I do know what a big deal it was. And I wouldn't have asked if I hadn't been desperate. It's fine. Glass of red? Yeah. How's Peter? Oh, he's, you know. Thanks for asking, though, Kev. It's appreciated. Yeah, well, must be taking its toll on you and Ken. On everyone. Well, I won't lie. It's like being in a pitch black room. But I can finally see a glimmer of light. At least I can sleep nights knowing he's safe. <laughs> Locked up, but safe. Thanks to this one here. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to go home and make Ken something vegetarian. A vegetarian surprise. Mm. Put a smile on his face and all. Oh. Oh. See ya. See ya. Bye, love. Right, I'll have a pint, please, then. Whatever you ladies want. Oh, cheers, Kev. Oh, barrel needs changing. I'll tell you what, sit down and I'll bring it up. All right, cheers. Nice one, Liz. What do you expect me to do? Deirdre thinks it's a one-off. She knew you might have to do this for years. She'd never expect it of you. You've seen the state she's in. I can't add any more pressure. You are mad. You better tell your boyfriend and Steve before they find out from somebody else. Oh. Thirty odd years after I should have told him and his baby sham where to go, Jim McDonald is still my problem. <laughs>